Misha and the Wolves was an amazing documentary. It felt very Errol Morris. It was mm. it was very procedural mystery uncovering, and oh gosh, it was. I I don't want to say too much about it because the the fun is in the unraveling of the story. Uh, it was directed by Sam Hob Hobkinson, uh, and it's the story of Misha Misha De Fonseca who suddenly in, in the mid nineties, one day gets up, she lives just outside of Boston. And one day she gets up in front of her synagogue and tells the story of how she was a little girl in Belgium. And she was a hidden child and that her parents were taken away by, uh, by the Nazis and sent to Germany. So she decided to uh, leave the family she was left with and go on foot and walk through the forest to get to her family uh, in Germany, okay? And in the process, she is adopted by a pack of wolves, okay? Uh, this is a I'm, documentary, right? it's, it's a documentary, it's a documentary, right. but it's this, you know, and at the synagogue, there is, a lady who is a is just starting a publishing company, and she is like, this this would make a really good memoir. She's like, I just started my my publishing company, and I'd only done like some sort of a financial or legal book or something. She's like, this 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 might be big. Yeah, and they they go ahead and they eventually do it, and Oprah's interested in having it on the book club, and it, it, that's I. What I'm saying is go in completely cold. Like do, because my jaw hit the floor several times in this movie. And uh, I was just like, oh my God, like what? You know, I mean, it was just, it's one of those ones. So if you can stay away from trailers, if you can stay away from synopses, uh, do it. And, but just see this movie. So it's the uh, truth is stranger than fiction. That's that's what we're going oh. through. Oh, it's, it's, ooh, it's good. It was good. <laughs> uh, is the director done anything prior to this, or is this a debut? Oh, golly. Uh, oh, golly. Uh, he's, he's actually worked in the TV industry uh, and for uh, Netflix on a few things, but this is, I believe this is his first feature, uh, cool. and it's just... It complete, you know, it's so funny. It did, it did have that Netflix documentary feel, you know, how it just strings you along and you cannot pull away from it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that. And, <laughs> and I was, I, I texted my sister while I was watching it and I was like, oh, this movie's about blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wait a minute, it's a story about blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh. it just keeps changing and it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's not. It's just a one film, right? I, like an hour and a half Correct. or something. Correct. It's okay. actually. Let's see how long. Yeah, you know what? You were spot on. It's ninety minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. No. Like last year, I was at Love Fraud, and I didn't realize it was a series. Uh, uh, yeah. Four, four one-hour episodes, and mm. and we were there for all four episodes. Oh um, Jesus. Yeah, that was my first night at Sundance. And um, <laughs> oh my god, I remember that. I remember that. We're all right in. <laughs> it's like, oh. I was gonna leave, but it was like it was so good. Okay, but we're not talking about that one. We're talking about this one.